I don't think I've ever started an interview like this. Are you anorexic? No. No. Mm -hmm. I, from a young age, I've always been slim and underweight. I mean, people have said, like, what are you, anorexic? So you have been asked that before? Okay. Yeah, people have asked me, like... Mm -hmm. And what is your response? How do you answer that? No, I just say no, like, mm -hmm. I'm not anorexic. Do you see me eating my sandwich? Do you want to eat that? Do you watch me not throw up? Okay. Yeah. 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 In seventh grade, I was 60... probably 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Which is not... which is thin. I'm short, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. still. And I like have little tiny bones, and I have a small frame, so it's it's a lot of it is natural. It's that how I am. Natural. So it, it's not bulimic. No, mm -hmm. and I don't like the perception that you can't just be skinny. The first thing they'll say to me is, "Oh my God, you're so thin. I like it. You're so skinny. I feel like I could break you. Like if I get a hug from somebody, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It gets old. Like you're not gonna break me. My bones are so <laughs> thin. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. What do you, yeah. What do you think? I don't want people mm -hmm. to not give me a hug. Okay. Because, you know what I mean? I'll give you a hug now. Thank you. Okay. And she didn't break. Well, she didn't break. Well, well, one piece. Piece. I want okay. for that reason. Do you think it's demeaning when people call you little and, and small? And it depends how you take it. I didn't take it that way, but I know that sometimes it's meant that Does way. Does it ever irk you that you are stereotyped, really, for your size? A little bit. How much do you weigh? I weigh. Yeah. 84 pounds, around yeah. 84. And you're how old? 19. 19. And I'm naturally 5'2". Does this run in the family? My mother's really thin. When she met my father, she was in her 30s and she was 95 pounds. Mm -hmm. So this has nothing to do with an, an illness. This mm -hmm. is just natural. This is just natural. And even if it did, mm -hmm. look at my bones. There's no illness that, like mental illness that can make that happen. Mm -hmm. it's, can you gain weight if you wanted to? Like I want to gain weight. That's mm -hmm. my thing. That's what I. That's mm -hmm. how what do you do to gain weight? I eat ice cream, but I don't really. I don't really try. That's the thing. I don't know if I could because I've never put my all into it before. What is your ideal weight? I, if you say, I, I wish I could weigh this. What is your ideal weight? Ninety-five. 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 That's what I want to weigh. Is that for now or is that throughout your life? I don't know because I've been the same weight for years. Yeah. People are supposed to like gain weight as you get older, but with mm -hmm. me it was different. Oh, so what about your mom? Do you does your mom share some of the? My mom, all of her hardships, including my back, my body, she has relived it all for me because I take it after her in like every way. So your mother has suffered through the same thing, the weight issue. Yeah, definitely. She's. She was more picky with food than I am. Mm -hmm. Like I'll try anything. She like wouldn't eat anything, and but she, um, and she had the back thing too. So it was kind of like all of my hardships mm -hmm. she resonates with. Being skinny isn't all it's cracked up to be. It's not. It, if you want to be thin like me, that's all. That's a problem because what I am is not the way I should be. I'm not. People aren't supposed to be 19 and 85 pounds. But you do say that it is natural, right? It's natural, but I'm still really underweight. Do you think women should stop saying that they want to be your size? Yeah. They should stop saying it in that sense that skinny is better. Healthy is the best thing. If you're plump and healthy, mm -hmm. why is that bad? What about full figure? Full figure. People, there are people out there like, oh, full figured is just another word for being fat. No, it's not. Fat is, and fat is like, I changed my mind. Full figured is saying fat, but it's just that there's a negative connotation with it. That's what I meant. And skinny, like fat shouldn't be bad. Skinny shouldn't be good. They shouldn't have a positive or negative. They should have, it should be all about health and how you feel good and doing things for the right reasons, not mm -hmm. trying to impress people. Do you think you can share some of the same pain as a full-figured woman can share as far as being discriminated against because of her weight? I can understand what it's like mm -hmm. to be pigeonholed, but not in a way that somebody that's larger is because that's so much less accepted and more mm -hmm. stereotyped and people have a much bigger problem with that than they do someone like me. I mean, so, like everyone demands perfection, but mm -hmm. I think it's easier for me, honestly. And it's, it sucks that that's how it is mm -hmm. for other people that don't have what I have mm -hmm. or have what I lack, whatever. Mm -hmm. But 
I can understand to an extent, but I would never, I could never fully understand. What do you say to those people who have gone through some of the things you've gone through and it's still going through it with, um, with weight? Just the most important thing is mm -hmm. not to let anything get to you. You have to have an, in, in today, mm -hmm. you have to have a tough exterior because people are, people are ruthless. Mm -hmm. People can be really kind, but people can also be really terrible. And somebody like me, I'm lucky that I don't get bothered that easily. Mm -hmm. But there's probably only like one, tr there's like very few things that really bother me that people think of me. What? When people question my intelligence. That's what bothers me. Are you insecure by your looks? Um, honestly not as, I don't, I don't have, I'm not like body conscious in the sense that I'm. Uh -huh. But and not just body, but face, anything. Yeah, I have. I, I know my flaws, but I also can acknowledge what's pretty about me. What are your flaws? Um, I have a really <laughs> weird jawline, and it's like not like everybody else's. Which usually it's like I don't want to be the same. But okay. this is weird. It's weird, so okay. I don't really like it. But okay. I mean, if you're gonna judge me for it, then you know later. Okay. Like, like, <laughs> you're really gonna be mad at me because okay. your chin like go. I used to be really self-conscious about my back because I used to have okay, so that, scoliosis and like last December I got like corrective surgery for it, which they kind of like fuse it together. What is, what is that for the people that don't know what that is? Spinal fusion is when you take titanium rods and you drill, not drill them, you screw them into the spine to kind of force it straight. Because I was so thin, mm -hmm. and am so thin, it was really noticeable that my back was like shaped like a C and like a skirt would be shorter on one side than the okay, other. I don't know, like little things, like my face is like long, I guess. Beautiful for women, like you have like full lips, big eyes, high uh -huh. cheekbones, a pointed nose. Okay. And I don't have all of that. So I guess if I had to nitpick about myself, mm -hmm. there would be those couple of things. Do you feel ugly? No. Mm -hmm. No. What is pretty about you? What's pretty about I, I had a whole list of that. <laughs> okay, you have a list of flaws, but I have uh, a whole list of you being pretty. But yeah, I'll tell you. I have. you speak. Can I have bragging rights right now? Is that what I'm yes. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Let's I've, got, I've, got, okay. I've got long, spidery model legs. Legs. Okay. Flaunt them. Um, I have a tiny waist. Tiny waist. Which is like cute. Why not? Yeah. I have... Three. Goodbye. Three. Two more, sister. Two more. Two more. Junk in the trunk. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, took I, I, I took a look. I took a look. Behind the scenes. I don't care. I took a look. Wow. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That, I, that doesn't offend me. Okay, okay. That does not offend me at all. Okay. Compliment. Thank you. Oh, one more. One more. One more. Alright. One more. I got... Oh. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. One more. I have a nice long neck. There you have I'm Marcus Ward and this is Jill. And this is the Marcus Ward show. Oh my god. And we didn't rehearse that. We did not rehearse that. No, Thank you no so rehearsal. Much.